All right, guys, this is a Cummins Zen 14 Select Plus, and I had a problem with the fuel pressure and the fuel filter. I was actually climbing and climbing and climbing. So within, within six months, I was already at 23. Once you hit 24, the motor is going to lose a lot of power. Actually, you lose power by 20. Once you pass that, it's going to start sputter, misfire. Once it hits 24, about halfway down, the motor is going to really stall on you and uh, might leave you stranded. So I'm going to show you a way to fix this. Obviously, if you guys replace the filter and it still didn't bring it down. I remember when you replace the new filter, it should be at 3 pounds. 3 pounds, no more than 4. So to fix this, I want to show you something that most people or the dealer will not tell you. You have to excuse me there. I got there's planes flying by at this hour. Alright. Here is the main supply going to the computer. In the back of the computer, there's a heat exchanger plate. And it comes out to right there. Now, obviously, from right there, I took this valve out right here. I took this out from right here. The reason why I took it out, I'm going to show you what causes to have high pressure in your filter, diesel filter, but that's not the case. Okay, this that comes out of the computer, the top of the computer, there's another line that goes down, but I took it out because I bypassed everything because I couldn't get it started. It actually was start, but it was stall and I had no power. So I decided to do some more investigation and figure out what the problem is. So this valve right here, uh, by the way, when you take this out, the valve, take the wire from the computer and pull the wire back. It's the only way you're going to get that screw out or this valve. Be careful with this wire. Don't pull too hard. Just gently pull. Loosen this knot right here and then turn it counterclockwise. When you take this out, be careful. I'm going to show you where it's clogged. Inside of it, You have a spring. Okay, I have a spring. What a check valve. Believe it or not, this check valve was completely clogged. So there's the check valve. What this does, it doesn't allow the fuel to go back to the tank. So if you let the truck sit for 24 hours, a week, or a month, it will start right up. Without this, the fuel might go back to the tank. And it might start, but then it's going to stall. And you might not be able to restart it again until you fill up that diesel filter. So this right here was completely clogged. So I cleaned it, put it back, and now I'm about to mount everything back how it was. Be careful with the lines. This is actually the return line it's set right here. When I pull it down, snapped right there. You can see. She'll still work, but I highly recommend you replace fuel lines. These are not that cheap. They're six dollars a foot, or actually six fifty a foot. I got twenty feet for return and main supply. And I'm going to show you one more little thing that probably nobody told you guys about this either. This is the filter, main filter. You got the fuel pump. And right here, at the end of the fuel pump, right in the back, there's a, you got to use a big screwdriver. You got to take this cap off. Actually, this is a cap with a screw thread inside. When you take this out, there's a small little filter in there. 
I would, if you never replace it, I highly recommend to replace the filter. Now they're gonna cost you about fifteen dollars this filter, and that big filter, the original or the main supply filter, is fourteen dollars at the dealer. So replace this if you never replaced it before, because this is the last thing that catches before you go see your injectors. And I, I haven't replaced this in uh, one hundred and twenty thousand miles, and it was pretty dirty. All right, if you guys have any uh, questions, leave me a comment. I'm not an expert at this motors, but I know a little bit about them. So yeah, there you have it. If you have a problem with your high pressure, remember, check this valve first before you check anything else. It'll save you about $500 at the dealer, easy. Thanks for watching.